Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Yasin and I've had my Tesla Model 3 for about a year now. I picked up my car July 20th of 2018. And since then, I've been charging this whole time at my house in my garage. I put together a 240 volt outlet right in my garage and then I decided to decorate a little bit by getting some two by four woods, some decals from Tesla decals on Amazon. And if you guys wanna see that video, I'll leave a link down below in the description, but you guys can check that out. So I've been charging at home since basically August of 2018 unless I'm traveling and I'm using the supercharging. And I'm the kind of person who likes to make sure that I have data for everything that I do. So I've been keeping track of all my bills since I purchased my home back in 2016. So basically I know every single month how much electricity that I've paid. And I know that's kind of geeky and nerdy, but that kind of stuff just excites me. Anyway, I wanna share with you guys um, my electricity prior to having my Model 3 and then basically after to the Model 3 and just go through some numbers and see exactly how much it went up and how much it went down. Okay, so prior to getting the car in 2017, it was an average of $81.95. If we take a look at the month by month breakdown, you're gonna see that the months of January and February are kinda of high over $100. And then you'll also see that the months of July and August are also kinda of high around $99.82. And those are the months that you use the most heat and the most uh, air conditioning. So I think that's probably why they're high. And then we fast forward to 2018. So in 2018, the whole year, my average was $112. And that went up about $30, $30 $28, $29, something like that from 2017 to 2018. And that's just because um, halfway through the year, I got my car, but also I've, you know, put more stuff together in my house. I set up this whole basement area for a studio and I have semi-professional lighting here. So things are gonna go up in price, but overall that's what happened. So if we break down 2018, the first six months, um, January to, through June, before I had my car, before I had the Tesla Model 3, my average was $96.49. Now, if you compare that to 2017, that's still a lot higher because 2017's average was $81.95. But then if you look at the second half of 2018, you're gonna see that it went up to $128.77. And that's a significant increase. And that's probably all from the Tesla. Now, I charge about once a week to fill up to go to work. And then on the weekend, I charge again if we need to go around and run a lot of errands, but if we're just staying in our side of town, then I don't really charge that much. But the difference in the first half of the year of 2018 and the second half of the year of 2018 is $32.28, and that seems about right. I was calculating that I'd be spending around $10 extra of electricity in my car since I got it. That's what I estimated, that's what I put into my budget. So that's 40 bucks a month extra, but looking at the numbers here in 2018, you'll see that it's actually $32, which is great because I over budgeted, which means I was able to have a little bit of cushion there, about $8. So just for good measure, let's look at 2019. And in 2019, we have some seven months gone already, but let's just take a look at the first six months. And if we look at the first six months, you can see that my average is $137, and that's up from what my average was in 2018, which was $112 which is a big difference there. It's about a difference of $25, $26, and that's a lot. But then if you compare it to just the second part of 2018, my average was $128, and now in 2019, so far it's $137. So that's not even $10, that's a difference of $9 and some change. And that $9, honestly, is just the more stuff that I'm putting in my house. Like I said, I'm increasing the size of my studio. Before it used to be just one desk setup, but now I have all this area behind me. I actually did a full tour of my studio in the basement. If you guys wanna see that, I'll also put that video down below in the description. But um, I think that nine to $10 is not a big difference of an increase. So overall, I'm confident enough to say that my charging at home is roughly been around 30 to 40 dollars even if it gets a little bit out of crazy it's i would say 30 to 40 dollars which is an estimate of 10 dollars a week and that's incredible because 
my wife has a Kia Optima and she puts in $40 a week and we literally work in the same area across the street from each other downtown and she puts in $40 a week and that's $160 a month and I'm just paying 40. That's a savings of $120 and you can put that $120 towards your car payment or towards your insurance. So it's definitely worth purchasing an electric car. I've enjoyed it. Um, I haven't told you guys, but I actually put 20,000 miles on my car and that's a lot. Most people here in the US just put in about 10 to 12,000 miles in their car. If you go crazy, you'll do like 12,000 miles, but I've actually put 20,000 miles on my car because I just love driving it everywhere and I've taken it to Chicago and I'm, I'm in Ohio. So I've taken it to Chicago, Michigan, I've taken it to Canada and it's just so much fun to drive. There's no maintenance. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I just want to share with you guys the data that I collected over the last three years and hopefully it made some sense to you but anyway like I said hope you enjoyed the video if it's your first time to my channel definitely consider subscribing this is a tech channel so I do reviews on phones laptops tablets and stuff like that but I also own a Tesla so I dabble in a few Tesla videos here and there if that's what you're into and you're interested in that then consider subscribing anyway thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next one until then stay plugged like